Hello everyone, it's Mike here from Player One Ready. This is uh, welcome to another FIFA 17 Ultimate Team review. This one is of the second on form Italy and Torino striker Andrea Bellotti. So far for me, he's got eight goals play, eight games played, sorry, 13 goals scored. I bought him for 55k, but he's now worth less than 25, and he's an absolute bargain. So I would definitely go for him straight from the, straight from the off. First of all, as usual, going to look at his in-game stats, and they are quite impressive. He has. Uh, 79 acceleration, 83 sprint speed, 91 positioning, 90 finishing, 86 shot power, only 76 long shots, 85 volleys, 88 penalties, 87 short passing is pretty good, 82 agility, 83 reactions, 87 ball control, 83 dribbling, 96 heading accuracy, uh, 88 jumping, 85 stamina, 85 strength and 82 aggression. The first thing I'm going to go into is do the jumping and his heading, his aerial threat and his target man ability, his hold up play. I haven't got too much of his hold up play. Uh, as such, he has got quite a few assists from uh, from his hold-up play and like holding onto the ball, playing three balls in behind for Rui Costa to run onto. Separate, uh, a legend review for Rui Costa, of course. Um, but these two are make a formidable partnership. The amount of flick-ons he wins, um, that like create chances, create goals as well. This one he creates for the Portuguese legend. There, that was a lovely header. This one is. Start starts the move with a with a big win here. Finds Rui Costa. Rui Costa's good strength to hold it up. Plays in Insignia, and after creating th this attack with the big with the big header to Rui Costa, he's then on the end of it to head it again. So his heading heading ability, his jumping there, and his movement really coming into uh, coming into play and uh, scoring a fantastic goal. That is something that I really enjoy with this card. Um, the other thing I enjoy, well, I say uh, the header there, standard front post corner. I don't do it all the time, but. Uh, I had to there. His finishing is also very, very crisp. He is an excellent uh, finisher, whether it's shot, whether it's powerful finishes, whether it's volleys, whether it's a half volley like this one, which isn't, which is quite difficult to score. He can do it all very, very well. He is an excellent striker in that sense. Um, yeah, as I say, you can power it, you can just roll it in the corner, one on one with the keeper. You can finesse him. He's got he's got all of it in his locker, and that helps as a striker. He's not limited. His movement a bit of lag there. His movement is fantastic as well. There is a, there is a goal coming up. This one here, it's the perfect line. If I thought it was offside when I first I looked back and double checked after the replay, I thought it was FIFA glitched out. No, he generally stayed onside. Again, stays onside well there. I've don't, never had a problem with him being offside at all. So that is a big big bonus. Um, Obviously, you don't want someone who's going to wander off and just get just come offside all the time. That would be very, very annoying. He is very good at holding his line, um, and he's very good at holding off people to score as well. That is a lovely finish. His left foot isn't great; it's only three star weak. But I'm not going to put it as a con because although it wasn't great, it did a job. It wasn't completely unusable. You weren't going to bang him in left, right, and centre with it, but it wasn't. Too much. It wasn't a big hindrance. It wasn't something that I consider a con. It was sort of midway between. It was good sometimes. It was not so great the other times. And I don't really see the point in slagging him off for that. That's not going to affect him too much, especially with his movement and his. Uh, you can always get on his right foot, and even if you can't, a lot of, as I say, it's not overly brilliant, but it'll do, and you can score with it as well. So I'm not going to uh, say too badly this for this. This video is a short review because he is a target man who can finish, and he can head. That is what you want. Um, he's not an overly creative player. He's got 87 short passing, which just means the simple passes that he can do to, you know, to get him get him going. He can do very easily. But he's not a he's not a Vieto. He's not a Jovetic. He's not a you know a really really simple finisher. Uh, he's just oh, sort of very, no, what I'm about. he's just just a you know a simple passer. He's not a he's not a creator at all. Don't use him for that. But other things be my guest so overall value for coins as I say you can get him for less than 25,000 so it's five star there five star overall eight, in, uh, eight goals eight games 13 goals fantastic there is pros and cons finishing shot power basically everything you want from a target man he can do in abundance there it is for you all there listed out um, please subscribe if you enjoyed this review and check out the other reviews there team of the year Tony Cruz Marco Van Basten Future Gueno and uh, look out for my Marco Rui, uh, Marco Rui. Uh, Mama Rui Costa video as well. Anyway, please like, subscribe, and uh, I'll catch you next time.